Um, if you don't want to write it, maybe I can ask just like you know, volume to you guys. Um, Chelsea, you want to go first? How do you how do you say this sentence in? Uh, what what is your approach to say this sentence in Hindi? Um, I was just thinking, gaon gaon mein bijli hogi. Oh, okay, so you are way ahead. <laughs> Let's stick with just this one. Uh, there will be electricity in the village, in just one village right now. Oh, um, gaon mein bijli hogi. Okay, what about you, Anias? What do you think? Yes, only one one use of gown. Let me actually so increase village. the volume. Give me just one minute. Try it again, please. It'll, it'll be only one gown because it's only in one village in this sentence. Okay, so say, how do you, what is your approach? Oh, in, in the village, uh, village is gown. So mm -hmm. in the village, it's gown. Gown. Eh? Chelsea said, yeah. Gaume. Electricity, I don't know. Electricity and uh, there will be, it's a hona, so it's hongi in, in future. Okay. So but I don't know how to say electricity. Okay, so it's okay. Hindi may electricity ko kya kete please. Okay, you want to respond to that, uh, uh, Chelsea? Yeah, the word for electricity is vigili. And I think maybe it's also the same word for lightning. That's right. So it's the same word for lightning. It's the same word for electricity. It's called vigili. So you, the way you write is ba with e, j, and then la with e, vigili. And as Chelsea mentioned, it's the same word for lightning also. Okay, so let's come back to the sentence. Gaon mein bijli, and then there will be electricity in the village. So gaon mein bijli, and then? Hongi. Hongi, very good, right? So the way you write hongi is because it's a, a masculine, you know, um, you know, uh, singular. Uh, basically, no, sorry, bijli is, you know, your uh, mask, uh, feminine singular. And it's future indefinite, so Hona changes to Hogi. Okay. Now you want to say there will be electricity in each and every village. Right now, in you're talking about a one particular village. Okay. If you want to say that, then you will say Gaon Gaon Me Bijli Hogi. Gaon Gaon Me Bijli Hogi. Okay, so kind of repeat the concept again for folks who just joined on YouTube broadcasting because I, you know, I forgot to hit the broadcast. Uh, you know, we are talking about reduplicated words which are used to enhance the beauty of a sentence. Uh, these, these words are very common across many languages, uh, you know, including English, where you say like bye bye, choo choo, zigzag, many of those sentences, right? So right now we're covering type one, which is like you know, how do you, when you repeat a noun twice, how does that change the, 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 the sentence, right? So gaon gaon, it's like village, and then you're repeating it again, which means in every village, um, okay? So let's look at one more example, and then we'll move to type two. Okay, so I'm gonna ask you guys this time to, uh, to take, uh, you know, uh, a stab at it right so let's say the first one is uh the the one way to say street in hindi is gali okay gali and the way you write it in devu nadri you have a ga and you have a love with e gali okay and you want to say this thing twice you can say gali gali okay now i want you to write down two sentences using this uh, noun called gali okay one without the reduplication the other one with reduplication okay so give it a try uh, think about it and uh, you know i'm gonna revisit and ask you guys about your approach and i'm gonna and folks who are watching you know uh, you know on facebook feel free to you know uh, write it down i'm gonna read your sentences So on the on the Facebook, I mean, I'm reading all the comments. You know, it's pretty much correct for everyone. Um, uh, Shireen and um, Elan, Carolina, Kevin, all of you are correct. Okay. So let's see what you guys think. Um, Anis, you want to give it a try first? What do you think? Um, um, a simple sentence using Gali would be. Uh, 
ओके इस शहर में ओके इस शहर की गली सुंदर है ओके वेरी गुड व्हाट अबाउट रिडुप्लीकेशन शहर में दिसंबर में गली गली डेकोरेटेड गली गली सुंदर है एवरी स्ट्रीट इज डेकोरेटेड Um, my sim- my sentence was similar to Anya's because yeah. I was trying not to change it to Galion, May. So I was trying to think yeah. of something like just to leave it like Gully. So I put Gully Sundar Hay. Uh huh. Very good. Very good. Okay. Yeah, Gully Gully Sundar Hay. Very good. Um, इस शहर की गली गली सुंदर है और like you can say Paris की गली गली सुंदर है. Every street in Paris is beautiful. Okay. Um. Uh, that's absolutely right. I'm just thinking what else can I kind of like you know use. um okay you want to say um gali gali mein chai milegi for example you are looking for tea a tea shop okay and um you don't know and you ask somebody like where can i find a tea and they can say gali gali mein chai mil jayegi okay that's another way to kind of emphasize that you know you can really find it in every street okay so this is again to summarize type one sentences where you can you know uh, take a noun and repeat it twice and uh, you know enhance the beauty of a sentence okay so we'll jump to type two uh, which is how to use a pronoun okay how to use a pronoun in the reduplication sense okay so let's start with that and as always you know you guys can always ask questions um, you know folks who are watching live um and um, i'm going to cover that so um so the first one i have it's basically um so it's called pronoun it's a type 2 okay um so um first example is like you know apna you must have you know seen us using in the class apna a keyword or pronoun in the sentences right um uh, main apna kaam kar raha hu okay Um, own. Okay, up now. The way you write it is a, p, and then na. Okay, and simple sentence would be me. Up now. Kam. Kar. Raha. Okay, me up now. Kam kar raha. So let's say uh, you know, my mom is asking me, what are you doing? You know, to kya kar raha hai? Okay, um, I'm saying I'm doing my own work. Okay, uh, the one way would be that I'm doing my own work. Okay, I'm doing the work. Okay, second one would be I'm doing my own work. Okay, um, I'm doing my own work. Okay, um, what if it's repeated twice? And uh, I mean, of course, the the the, the context will change. Um, and let's say the sentence is written as like you know sab bach or bachche so this is like one way to write it the second way would be let's say bachche apna apna kaam kar rahe hain bachche apna apna kaam kar rahe hain So let's not jump to the solution yet. I want you to read both of the sentences again and again, um, and um, and then I'm going to take a round and ask, you know, each of you. Okay, मैं अपना काम कर रहा हूँ. In the second is बच्चे अपना अपना काम कर रहे हैं. Let's see if folks have any thoughts. Okay. so i mean just to take a step back uh, you know shireen for the gali gali she said gali gali mein ped hai which is very good that every street has tree in it um you know gali gali mein billi hai okay every street has a cat in it so you must love cats okay carolina and kevin is saying gali gali mein bahut sari gaadi hai like you know every street has a lot of cars so you see there are many sentences we can make uh, okay so let's coming back to this one bachche apna apna kaam kar rahe hain um uh you want to give it a try chelsea what do you think this sentence means 
Uh, the first one, it just means I am doing my own work. Uh -huh. And the second one, I think, means each kid is doing their own work. That's right. Each kid is doing their own work. Anyas, what are your thoughts? Are you thinking along the same lines? or? Uh, no, I thought it was uh, kids are doing every work as, as if they had uh, many works to do and they do each of them. I thought okay. it was that, that meaning. Okay. So it, it really means like kids are doing their own work. Right? So that's like the work is given to them. When you say apna apna, that means like you know, each one is doing their own work. They're not involved in anybody else's work. They're minding their own business type of a sense. Okay, let's look at more examples so that we it, it can like be it will be clear to you. Okay. Um let's look at and again as, as I said, like as I'm writing each of them, you know, uh, feel free to write your own examples and I'm gonna read them towards the end of the class. So let's say con. As you know, con in, in, in is basically who. Okay. And you have the way you write it is like you have a ka with o and then no. Okay. So let me do it this way. Why don't you write both the sentences, right? Without the duplication and write with duplication. Um, you know, con. Okay, it will also help you think about like you know where you can use the the duplication. So give it a try. <clears throat> so I'm going to give you a help with like, you know, the first one, you know, let's say you want to say, who is coming in, you know, my party. Okay. Who is coming in my party? So you can say Mary. Party me con a raha hai. Meri party me con a raha hai. How will the sentence change if I use it, you know, twice? Um, Anishji, you want to give it a, you want to go first now? I think the structure won't change so much. It would be Mary party me con con araha hai. Okay, Mary party me. Mary party me con con a raha hai. Okay, what does it mean? I mean, do you really see any significant difference between the two? When will you use this one and when will you use this one? Kelsey? Um, for the first one, it may be if you're just expecting one person and for the second one, if you're expecting a lot of people. Okay. Um, okay. Um, so it's not necessarily about the, the number of people. In this case, again, as I said, uh, deduplication doesn't necessarily have a one rule, like you know, that if you use that rule, it will fit into all of them. Um, sometimes it means just emphasis, okay? Sometimes it means like you know, you are like you know, um, um, you are just sending, you're just talking casually, okay? And then sometimes you know, you are among a group of people, okay? Uh, and you want to just see the show of hands, you know, or raise your hands. Okay. Uh, for example, I'm like, you know, uh, I'm, I'm with a group of friends, about 10 or 15 people. And um, I'm asking them like, you know, that, you know, I want to go to, um, to see, let's say the Capitol Hills. Okay. Um, I will say, uh, okay, who is coming with me? Okay. Um, so even though the sentence is exactly the same, like, you know, who is coming? Okay. But you really are 
trying to select as many people within the group right then and there okay you are emphasizing that i am going there kon kon chal raha hai okay or chai kon kon piyega another way to say it like one is like you know you have um, again you can say chai kon piyega absolutely correct nothing wrong with it okay um, but again you are enhancing the beauty of the sentence you know when you have a group of people in your house and you are like chai kon kon piyega uh, like give me the count of all of you guys and i'm going to make the chai okay so don't don't get like too hung up on the 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 translation of it you know because it's 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 not as difficult it's very simple okay it's just repeating it twice uh, kon kon piyega and then you know uh, and then we'll look at more of them okay um so let's look at some more so so some more example that i have is like you know um basically koi as you know in hindi we used koi many times koi is anyone koi okay and the way you write you have a k with o and then e okay koi um um koi and you can repeat it twice using koi and koi 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 um so let's just jump directly into the reduplication of it um you want to any of you want to give it a try how do you use this uh, you know you know this koi koi concept in like a sentence so um you want to go first chelsea okay uh, koi koi hindi seekh sakte hain okay uh, koi koi hindi seekh sakta hai uh, anya ji इस स्कूल में कोई कोई पियानो बजाता है ओके कोई कोई ओके इस स्कूल में कोई 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 पियानो बजाता है बजाता है ओके वेरी गुड लेट्स सी व्हाट अदर पीपल आर सेइंग ऑन फेसबुक okay so um so there is a small lag lag in the on the facebook that's why you know all the responses by the time i read it we are already into the next one <laughs> okay so both of you are sort of right um you know i'm just thinking of like a um a different sentence so that way you know okay so let's say you know koi bol raha hai you know koi bol raha hai okay if you want to say that um, you know the translation would be someone is anyone or someone right i mean someone is speaking okay so you will say someone is someone is talking okay someone is talking okay now you want to like you know say it twice koi 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 bol raha hai okay um koi koi bol raha you want to say it, say it like this okay um so let's say you know you 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 go to a like a, a class okay and you went to a class and most of the most of the you know students are not even participating or talking let's say okay and you are a little bit frustrated and you are saying like you know koi nahi bol raha hai okay nobody is participating or koi nahi participate kar raha hai and your fellow teacher is coming to you and they are disagreeing with you and they're saying नहीं ऐसा नहीं है नो देर इज नथिंग लाइक दैट कोई कोई बोल रहा है और कोई कोई स्टूडेंट कोई कोई स्टूडेंट पार्टिसिपेट कोई कोई स्टूडेंट पार्टिसिपेट पार्टिसिपेट कर रहा है कर रहा है ओके और यू कैन से यू नो सिमिलर वे यू 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 मेड अ मशीन or uh, equipment okay and uh, you know you as a seller you you sold it to different people and people are complaining oh you know koi machine kaam nahi kar rahi hai none of the machines are working okay and uh, you know you are sending it back to like you know for people to to really look at it or fix it and um, you know your internal assessment is 
कोई कोई मशीन काम कर रही है लाइक सम ऑफ दीज मशीन आर वर्किंग नॉट ऑल ऑफ देम आर आर लाइक यू नो बैड ओके सो आई मीन दीज आर जस्ट सम एग्जांपल्स ऑफ हाउ टू यूज प्रोनाउन वाइस यू नो अगेन फील फ्री टू यू नो लुक एट द लिस्ट ऑफ द प्रोनाउंस एंड सी हाउ यू कैन लाइक यू नो यूज देम इन मेनी सेंटेंसेस जो जो इज वेरी लाइक अ कॉमन वन राइट जो इज लाइक हुएवर ओके uh as i said in the in the earlier sentences like you know a chai kon kon piyega like who will drink the the chai and then you can say jo jo piyega whoever is going to drink raise your hands uh, you know so you can use you know many such like you know type to um, you know pronouns uh, in the reduplication sense okay so i'll take a quick pause to see if there are any comments and i want to really make sure i review everyone's sentences as we are going along okay um okay so so earlier sentences like you know uh, that that i can see here is like kevin is saying ye dukaan is dukaan mein kaun kaun ja rahe hain okay um isme se kaun kaun sun raha hai and then uh, okay so that's all i i i have and let's jump to the next section which is basically how to use the type 3 which is adjectives okay so i may pick up some pace here i i i think we still have time so i should be able to cover the so type 3 reduplicated words which is how to use adjectives so as you can tell we started with nouns first and then we move to pronoun and now we are doing adjectives okay um interesting one okay so um a lot of hindi movie like you know if you look at the 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 <laughs> the dialogues of the hindi movie you can see the use of you know the reduplicated words again and again okay so let's start with the first one bada as you know is big okay um but uh, if you're using it for like a uh, plural you know you will say bade masculine plural right bade bade okay so uh, i mean that itself should be enough clue for you guys but let, let's see what you guys think of um chelsea do you want you to try bada is big okay but bade is like you know bade um bade kamre right i mean big rooms or um badi imaratein like tall buildings and you know you can say either say bada bada or you can say badi badi or bade bade okay um give me a sentence for both of them uh, without the reduplication and with reduplication um duniya duniya mein bade shehar hote hain mm -hmm. okay and then with the um bade bade shehar home mein hmm bahut sare log rehte hain okay very good um anish ji you want to give it a try um uh mera bhai uh, ba uh bara hai Okay. For example, very simple. <laughs> and uh, uh, Jaipur me uh, humble fort, uh, bilkul bade bade uh, fort hai. Bade bade what? Bandar? What did you say? No, no, fort hai. Fort. Oh, bade bade fort hai. Okay, bade bade kile hai. Okay. Um. So let me take you to a different, like you know, not so serious conversation. I'm assuming both of you have watched this movie DDS. Dil wale tujhe liya le jayenge. Any of you? Yes, no. Yeah. 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 छोटी छोटी बातें एंड आई एम गोना स्क्रू इट अप टूअर्ड दी एंड बातें 
होती रहती है ओके होती रहती है ओके सो इफ यू डोंट रिकॉल इट रीड इट एंड देन यू नो टेल मी व्हाट डू यू थिंक इट मींस बड़े बड़े देशों में छोटी छोटी बातें होती रहती है Try to dissect it, and then you will be able to figure it out. You want to go first, um, Chelsea? Ji? Okay. Um, if you just translate it, it means like in big, big countries, small, hmm. small things are bound to happen or happen. That's right. That that is exactly right. That they happen, so you should not take them seriously. So you know he keeps you know he keeps saying like you know uh, to to Kajol or to the actors throughout the movie. that you know these things are bound to happen so you know let's just keep going or don't worry about them so uh so you see you see the, the use of all these like you know um adjectives in in again as i said like in many hindi movies so let's let's look at more examples okay um so another way would be that you know is party mein is party mein bade bade log aa rahe hain बड़े बड़े लोग आ रहे हैं ओके सो अगेन लाइक अगेन यू जस्ट गिविंग एन एम्फेसिस यू नो यू कैन ऑल्सो से इस पार्टी में बड़े लोग आ रहे हैं बट वेन यू से बड़े बड़े यू से लाइक देर आर सेवरल बिग पीपल्स आर आर कमिंग इन इन दिस पार्टी और इन दिस इवेंट ओके अनदर वन वुड बी नया नया इज न्यू right uh, and the way you write it is like you have a na with ya and a naya okay and um, if you use it you know depending on how you're using it right i mean you want to say naya ghar naya ghar okay uh, it's new house okay naya office is new office okay um uh, if you want to say it in in the plural you will say nayagar nayagar is like new house or new houses basically in that plural sense new houses okay now somebody is saying or if you know you are walking uh, through let's say um you know um uh, some market in delhi okay i was thinking about karol bag let's say okay and you hear that you know aajkal हर दिन हर दिन नए नए फोन आ रहे हैं फोन आ रहे हैं नए नए फोन आ रहे हैं आजकल हर दिन नए नए फोन आ रहे हैं वट इज इट मीन आनिया जी यू वॉन्ट गिव इट ड्राइव फर्स्ट Ashkali is nowadays today. This yeah, day. Yeah, uh, Ashkali is nowadays. Hardin is uh, each day. That's right. Ashkali is like yeah. Hardin each day. That's right. New new phone are here. Hmm. Uh, there's a new phone coming up uh, each day. That's right. Okay. You want to give it a try? Uh, what do you think, Chelsea? Ji? you want to correct it or you think it's 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 correct sentence i think it's fine these days every day a new phone is coming out that's right so you know you are again giving an emphasis that you know a new phone is you know it's coming pretty much every day um so let's see what the video interrupted okay so i'm not sure why the video is interrupting Uh, can anyone hear me now let me just you know get a quick thumbs up to before i keep going um can you guys hear me okay just give me a quick thumbs up if the video is not freezing right now <laughs> and uh, okay so i think it's okay 
All right, so um, <clears throat> so I hope the the you know, if it's still in drips on the on the Facebook front, let me know um, and we'll cover it. So similarly, like you know, I'm just going to give some more examples on type three, and I want you to kind of like you know um, do it on your own kind of an exercise. So a uh, fika in Hindi is you know. Read it as fika, okay? Fika, fika, fur with e and then ka. Fika is nothing but bland, okay? Uh, so, for example, if you are like you know uh, eating some vegetables, okay, or some some dish and it's completely bland, you will use the word fika, okay? If you are eating a sweet and it's completely bland, it's no, there's no sweetness in it, you will say it's it's ye fiki hai. Okay. You can use that twice as well. Fika fika or fiki fiki. Okay. Um so my mom, you know, she she likes to drink very sweet teas. Okay. She if you're giving her like a you know a chai with um, and when I say a lot, that means a lot. Like, you know, usually for example, the typical limit is like I'll put probably half a cup teaspoon or full teaspoon in a big cup my mom will make sure she put like three or two three like you know uh, teaspoons of like you know, sugar in the chai right and uh, even when uh, let's say anyone is making tea for her and they put like only one teaspoon in general sense it's already there is a sugar in it but she'll say that no fiki fiki chai with me okay which means like you know and you see, i'm gonna write down what she says she says like fiki 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 Chai De De Di. Dena is basically to, you know, to give. Okay, so Fiki Fiki is like you give me a completely like, you know, a bland or like, you know, uh, unsweetened tea. Okay, so it's again, she is emphasizing that it's like, a, it's, um you know, it's a Fiki Fiki, you know, Chai. Okay, so let's, um, and there are some more questions on the, on the, uh, on the on the Facebook front, and I'm gonna cover that. Uh, Shirin, you asked me about how to use thoda and thoda sa, bada and bada sa. Uh, slightly different topic, but I'll definitely cover it. Okay. I'll, uh, in fact, I've covered it in the past, and I'm gonna share the um, you know the video with you on that. Um, so it seems like the the interruption has gone. So I'm glad. Uh, so now let's do type four. Okay. So type four is nothing but how to use verbs in that sense, in the reduplication sense. Okay, verbs. How to use verbs uh, in the you know in the reduplication sense. Okay, um, it's very interesting how do you use that, right? I mean, uh, so let's say uh, you know that you know to laugh in Hindi is okay, hasna. Okay, um, and now you want to say man, I laugh, let's say, for a female would be man, hasti, hum. Okay, man, hasti, hum, which is I laugh. Okay, simple sentence. Verb works differently, and you want to say, let's say, in reduplication sense, you want to say, haste, haste, uh, haste, haste, pet. Uh, duk gaya. Dukhna is to pain. Dukh gaya is like, you know, duk is like, you know, pain basically. So I don't want to give too many clues here. Um, read the sentence again with me. Haste haste paid duk gaya. Okay. Uh, Anesji, what do you think it means? I think it means uh, with with such a big laugh, uh, the pain uh, went away. But I don't know what pet is. What is pet? I don't remember. I think we've seen that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Chelsea? But it, it means we loved so much that, uh, that my pain went away. Yeah, okay. Uh, what do you think, okay. Chelsea? Uh, well, pate means stomach, so I was thinking it means like I laugh so hard that my stomach hurts. <laughs> well, uh, you guys are right, actually. It, that's what it means that, you know, 
you 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 laugh so much that there is a pain in your you know belly or stomach right so haste haste pet dukh gaya okay uh, that's what it means okay um let's look at more such examples so i'm going to not erase this one so the next one would be uh, uh dekhna as you know it's to see okay dekhna is to see um one sentence would be that uh, main tv dekhta hu i watch a tv okay or you know a t- tv television okay now you want to say tv dekhte dekhte bachche so gaye tv dekhte dekhte bachche so gaye okay you can you can tell that you know you're repeating the word twice dekhna it's coming twice um um so the word is you know getting the reduplication here um you want to go first uh, chelsea ji what are you saying it means tv dekhte dekhte bachche so gaye um i think it means like the kids watch so much tv that they fell asleep okay uh anishi yeah i mean it's uh, it shows the that they fell asleep because of uh, of this emphasis of dekna so it means uh, i think chelsea's right saying that they watch too much so they emphasize on the fact that they watch too much tv okay um so it's also like you know it's not about like you know just the 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 amount of the television they they watched it's also it it, it really means like as they were watching like you know while watching the television okay uh, they 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 slept basically okay that's what it means it's not like you know um you can say if you want to really emphasize on the, the fact that they watch a lot of television then you can say jada tv dekhte dekhte if you're simply saying tv dekhte dekhte bachche so gaye that means like while watching the the, the tv the, the kids uh, went to to sleep okay um okay let's do one more and then we'll move to type 5 okay uh the next one i have is ana ana is is to come okay main ghar aata hu that means i come to the to house uh main office aata hu means i arrive to the or i come to the office okay let's say you know you want to say aate aate aur ghar aate aate you want to say ghar घर आते आते शाम हो गई हो गई घर आते आते शाम हो गई सो दिस इज समटाइम्स यू नो यू विल यूज यू नो वॉट आई रियली मीन हियर इज लाइक यू से शाम श विद आ इन देन मे um and uh, if you're not familiar with it in it's basically evening kar aate aate sham ho gayi uh anish you want to go first what do you think it means kar aate aate sham ho gayi i would guess that it's it means while i'm uh, going uh, home the uh, evening came yeah okay um, uh, Chelsea ji Yeah, I think the same thing while going home it got it got it became evening. That's right. Um while going home or gar you know aate aate aur jaate jaate if you're saying jaate jaate you know while going home it turned dark or it became you know so I'm just going to say in like in that sense it turned dark or it became evening. okay so i hope this is clear uh, how to use verbs also in the uh, in the reduplication sense let me see if there are any questions before we do the the final one um uh, so uh, shireen ji you are right uh, tv dekhte dekhte bacche so gaye and hast hast the pet duk gaya that you laugh so much that your there is a your stomach is aching um, and then 
let's see if there are more okay so this one was interesting carolina ji with laughter pain goes away haste haste pet duk gaya it's it's i should really take a screenshot of it <laughs> uh, all right so we'll do the last one okay um which is um which is the topic we covered last week you know which is adverb uh, so i'm going to call it type 5 okay so how do you use adverbs in that sense in the reduplication is the last topic i think we're about yeah 6 minutes so again this also use quite a you know uh in hindi sounds as well um the first one is let's say uh, as you know dheere is uh, slowly okay and then if you you can say it like you know if you're saying it in twice dheere dheere right so there are many songs even if you go youtube it you know you will find many songs with that uh you know so and again like you can use it in the in the imperative sense as well that you know dheere dheere kaam karo like you know work slowly don't rush okay um so an um, example would be as i said uh, dheere 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 bolo or speak slowly let's say if you are giving any directions to anyone or you can say dheere dheere kaam karo work slowly dheere dheere kaam karo or you can also say dheere dheere chalo okay um you know for example kids they always have the habit of running ahead of you or like you know uh in any different direction so you can you know use that literature to like walk walk you know slowly okay um again um as i said like you know you can there are many songs like you know uh, like for example i'm familiar with some of the very popular song from ashiki right i mean which is like you know dheere dheere Uh, and then there is again like you know many other songs okay um similarly other adverb i can think of like you know which is niche niche uh you know so that's niche niche is below and you can use it twice in that case like you know niche niche okay so pani niche niche aa raha hai like what is coming only on the you know the uh you know the basement or you know or the floor below or the or the you know the apartments below okay um similarly like you know you can use for upar upar and then the last one i have is kuch kuch right kuch kuch okay so the way you write it like you have a k with u and then sh and then you have a k with u and sh kuch kuch um for example um um and similarly like thoda thoda i mean thoda thoda i think we probably have covered in the adjective one right yeah so kuch kuch is again like you know um i'm just thinking about the sentences here um while i'm thinking let me just give you the opportunity as well um what do you think a uh, chelsea g will be an appropriate sentence for kuch kuch um kya aap kuch kuch chahte hain chahte hain okay okay um anya ji it makes me think of uh, the movie title kuch kuch hota hai <laughs> okay so that's actually right uh, kuch kuch hota hai um uh, what do you think it means it means things are things are happening little things are happening something happens right yeah something happens right so you are absolutely right you know it's kuch kuch hota hai um so uh, i'm funny that you mentioned it right i mean so you know so when i was in high school okay and this is like a real scenario okay real scenario how not notorious high school kids are okay and this is like think about it back in like 2000 like you know 1999 2000 uh, we were in we were in a classroom and 
our you know physics teacher you know he was um, a young guy like you know fresh out of like you know masters and very passionate and he was teaching us something and then all the kids were just like you know looking everywhere you know <laughs> not paying attention and then you know and then our teacher got really mad and like you know and he's like you know and he said like and i'm going to translate it like you know that you guys don't have anything like you know you guys are making so much noise uh, you know you, you know tum logo ko kuch hota nahi hai like what do you guys like feel your parents are spending so much money and uh, uh, you guys are have no sensitivity to it and tumhe kuch hota hai right i mean that's what he said he he asked the question and uh, one of the the fellow classmates he raised his hand and, and the teacher is like you know what do you want what and he's like sir sir hota hai kuch kuch hota hai and then the entire class like started laughing there like you know and then even the teacher himself so uh, so you are right about it like you know that you know the, that adverbs can be used in <laughs> in the reduplication uh, sense okay so uh, so as you can you know tell that it's about time um, it's 10 uh, right 10 so we'll what we'll do is like we'll stop the the broadcast now um so i quickly want to say that you know i quickly want to say that next four weeks uh, you know uh, uh, there will be not be any class uh, we are going on a winter holiday um um i'm going to india this tuesday and we'll meet we'll meet again in the early january okay so use the next four week as an opportunity to learn um, new topics in hindi um brush up the concepts that you know you were not able to attend because of your schedules and all um and um, we'll come back with you know new energy uh, new topics um i'm thinking of starting a new kind of a registration process when we we are back in january so we can have more in the students in the class okay so um so with that in mind i'm going to stop the broadcast and i'm going to you know ask any questions